Hey guys, Eric here from Truck Cam Eric. I just wanted to make a short video, let you guys see what I do when I'm not out there on the road. Years ago, I used to build houses and I'm a master carpenter. Since I've left that, well, I started driving truck. But I still like working with wood. And when me and Steph aren't out running the roads when I'm not working, we come in here. We make crafts, we make some furniture, we do a lot in here. This is my small shop. This is my small shop tour. Like always, it's about safety. So, here we have my safety equipment. We'll start here. My safety smock, safety glasses, my dust collection system, and my hearing protection. Again, it's always about safety. Let me uh, flip this thing around because I'm using my cell phone to record this, and uh, I'll give you a tour. Hey guys, like I said, there's my safety equipment. We call it the G-Shop. This is my small shop tour. So, after a hard day, or even on the weekends when I want to unwind, this is my hobby. I come in here, I have my Delta table saw. I keep the towel on it because right now it's winter and uh, when I heat the shop up, I have a little condensation problem. So the towels on all my tools, all the cast iron tables, wick the water off and then I can get rid of them and dry them off. So let's start on top of here. Over here I have my wall of power. Oh, I have my sanders. I have my air nailers. My heat guns you can see all my various power tools behind my saw give me a second here I have a very big shot so behind my saw I have my planer and a little bench top uh, band saw that is the motor to my lathe which I have hooked up to a switch because I was using it to mill wheels because I'm currently making a bigger bandsaw than what I have uh, all my nails and screws storage there's my safety equipment for my table saw some horses my dust collection system oh, we have air compressor I love the hand plane. There's my hand planes. I think they're all jack planes. Uh, some storage. Uh, there's my heater. 10 inch saw. Some more storage. Some more drills. I'll tell you about these uh, rigid drills. I, I was never crazy about rigid. To me, the, they were always like Black & Decker. Until... I got these things probably about oh I don't know three years ago I love them the, the rigid has moved up to a better class of tool these things are great and the batteries are guaranteed for life not the life of a power drill life at least that's what they told me when I called behind my seating top of my big toolbox and it's all different stuff in there, drill bits, screwdrivers, it works. Up here are my tools that I use a lot, different screwdrivers, and my chisels, uh, different bits. There's my screw storage and my drill bit storage. Uh, everybody has to have a place for their saw blades. And there's another air nailer, framing hammer. There's my wall of wrenches, some more blades, dado blade, 
hanging in the rafters or all my clamps. Easiest way to store them. There's the rest of my toolbox. The generator for when our power goes out and I still want to play in my shop. Garbage cans. That I'm going to make a shop air cleaning system out of. It's a squirrel cage out of a gas furnace. I deliver pipe to plumbing supply houses. Plumbers are always scrapping um, boilers, burners, and furnaces at my customers. So when they allow me, I just open up the boilers and pull out squirrel cages. I got tons of those things. Here's some more storage for my sander, my big belt sander, my drill bit sharpener, and I back here, I have a saw blade sharpener. It works okay. Uh, Harbor Freight deal. This here is what I use to make sure the motors in my squirrel cages work. Under this bench, I have some storage. I could actually store full sheets of plywood under there. Right now, it's half sheets, and I have some plastic that I work with. That's from another customer. By the way, it's, whole shit is wired. Um, comes in from right there. Uh, you can see shop lights. I did this all myself. These are, this is my wall of motors. I have everything here. 220 motors, five and a half horsepower motors, three horsepower motors, two horsepower motors. There's a small squirrel cage out of a uh, industrial sized hot water heater. That's, that's was the actual venting system. Um, here I have some Baldor motors from another company that I go to. They were scrapping some tools that they had made for another company. They just throw everything out. So, why not grab them? And there are some more motors from squirrel cages that I pulled out. This is from an old uh, table saw that I had. These are my um, crosscut sleds. So, moving right along. I mean, we saw my big toolbox. More storage back behind my clamps. These clamps, these big panel clamps, bar clamps, whatever you want to call them. I have some small ones here. All I got to do is buy these pieces. I pull for a piping company, so I get scrap pipe for nothing all day long. So I can make as many of those clamps as I want to. And all it costs me is this part, which is usually 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. There's more. That was one of my son's uh, youngest sons. Wood projects at school. Made a little guitar. Actually works. Might not be in tune, but here's my lighting for my Rikon 10-inch bandsaw. That was a new toy this year. Here is my Porter Cable uh, stand-up drill press there's some not scrap wood those are my cutoffs here's my extension cords and everything that I run all over the shop and all over my yard there's my electric uh, I have a Dewalt 12 inch miter saw or to go with that um, smaller saw over there And this is my old voice and crane um, jointer that I got. It's a six inch jointer. I picked it up for 45 bucks. Guy just wanted it out of his garage. And back there, that's my 1939 or I remember if it was 39 or 45, but that's my lathe that that motor connects to and here is my sound system which you would hear but YouTube has policy of not allowing me to put on my videos um, the music I like to play so you can't hear any music maybe I'll put on some YouTube music which isn't too bad some of it well that's my small shop tour Oh, I have a router, 
Uh, I can't really fit a router table in here. I can make an extension, I guess, for my table saw, but I have it connected to a piece of wood. I just clamp the wood to my table, and it works just as good as a router table. So, this here is what, there's my extra blades for my bandsaw. Well, I hope you liked my shop tour. This is what I do in my off time. You guys have a great day. Well, that's it, guys. That's my small shop tour. I hope you liked it. If you did, shoot me a thumbs up. If you didn't, shoot me a thumbs down. I know some people aren't into that kind of thing. But I would like to know what you guys are into. So down below, leave me a comment about what you guys like to do, what your hobbies are, if you like to build, what you like to do when you're not doing what you have to do. That's what I'm interested in finding out. So, originally I was going to make a YouTube channel about building, but there are so many channels out there about building right now that I figured, you know what, I already have the dash cam channel started and I decided to start to revamp that into road safety and, and road awareness. I think the world could use that a lot more than another building channel. Um, so yeah, if, if you enjoyed this video, um, if you enjoy my truck cam videos at least, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. This way you get notified every time I put out a new video. And uh, I guess that's it. So like always, be safe, God bless, and I'll see you on the road. my small shop. I'd like to give you a small video and let you see what it is that I do. What are you doing? Alright. Hey, walk right in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Doing what you have to do. I'd be interested in finding out, hearing about you guys. Well, you're the second one I'd interrupted.